So your local Harbor Freight is actually a fantastic place to pick up some you know, necessary detailing supplies. I previously made a video covering a bunch of different detailing supplies that you can get from your local Harbor Freight and I will uh, actually let that run right after this video. So if you haven't seen that one, just stay tuned. It'll run after this. They actually have a fantastic selection of Meguiar's compounds, polishes, uh, all their, you know, their ceramic spray line. Really, really good stuff. But right now I'm going to be covering some of the either brand new items that they brought in or some items that I didn't cover in that last one that I think are very, very good items that you should consider. So number one on the list is what I'm sitting on here right now. And that is the brand new Icon shop chair. Um, but this one is super comfortable, has an adjustable telescoping base. And this is really fantastic whether you're cleaning wheels, you know, polishing the side of a vehicle or whatever else. So being comfortable makes your life way easier. And this thing is awesome. Full metal construction on the bottom. And it does have a really good size base where you can store some products. Now moving on to item number two is another detailing stool. And that is this one here. Now when I did the last video comparing this icon one to that new one from MagShine, a lot of people were saying, hey, you actually can get that at Harbor Freight and it's way cheaper. Now this thing absolutely looks super, super similar to the one from MagShine, but it is a different chair. Uh, it does not have the removable top where you can actually take this off and use it as a separate creeper. So as you can see, this is the one from MagShine. Again, same thing. It has a little uh, cubby in the front, just like the one from Harbor Freight, but this one, the top pops off has caster wheels on that, so you can use this as another base. Really, really cool item. Um, I actually highly recommend this thing. If you guys aren't interested in this one, you can go to MacShine website is, I'll link it down in the description for you guys. But if you use code IMJOSHV15, you'll get 15% off uh, any least non-discounted items. If they're doing a bundle or whatever, the, the discount code probably won't work, but give it a shot anyway. Now, when we're talking about the one from Harbor Freight, this is from their Grants brand from, uh, from Harbor Freight. I actually really, really like it. There's a couple of cool, features on this that um, are different than the one from MagShine. So right on the front here, obviously it looks exactly the same construction, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but on the back of this one, you actually have a little holder here so you can hold some brushes and things like that, which is awesome. The top does still come off and you can use it as a seat or even use it just as a, you know, to kneel on, but it does not have the casters. One benefit of this one though, that I actually like uh, about this one over the MagShine one is these side uh, panels here where you can store product feel much more stout and I like that they're they're larger you can you know put compounds and things like that in there nice little storage here and then the side cups these on the max shine one were very very flimsy so I, I recommend I, I just toss them away I don't use them um, these ones actually hold in pretty well and are are decent um, these ones I can actually see being functional uh, versus the one on the max shine I just tossed them right away Okay, so now as you can see behind me, I have a bunch of items laid out here. And the first one, this is kind of what triggered me to make this video, and that is they brought out a dirt guard. This is very, very detailing specific, guys. If you're just an average person that just washes their car, you may not know about these, right? But basically what this does is it sits in the bottom of your uh, bucket and it separates the dirt. The dirt falls through this and gets trapped under, so you're not constantly putting your mitt back into dirty water. Now many people still talk about doing a two bucket method where you have this, you put it in there, agitate it, get everything to release, then dip it into another bucket and then go back to the car so you're reducing any risk of having anything in the material of your wash mitt or microfiber or whatever else that could mar the paint. But for me personally, I just use multiple uh, microfiber towels. I can't remember the exact GSM, but the ones I use most common are from the Rad Company. I actually offer them on my site, so I'll link that down in the description for you guys. Um, they should also be available on Amazon and I'll link them on the Rag, Rag Company site as well. So you can get them for, from wherever you need. Um, but I like those, they're plush enough uh, and they have a longer pile so they actually hold dirt. So it's not just constantly going across the surface but it actually captures it and pulls it inside. Now many, many brands make these. I think Detail Guards was their, probably the original company that made it. I'm not 100% sure about that. But then there's also the Grit Guard, which is a very, very well-known uh, kind of branded name of this type of uh, item. MaxShine makes them. Most of the major manufacturers will make something like this. But available at Harbor Freight, so very, very easy to get. You also can get their buckets, which I do like. They're bright red, so especially for me as a mobile detailer, I like having a really bright bucket that I can kind of leave out. Instead of putting out a cone, this kind of does the same thing, lets people know that I'm there. But like I said, all you do is you take this, place it into the bottom of the bucket. It sits in there nice and secure. Fill up your bucket and you're good to go. You can add in your wash soap, your microfiber towels, or your wash mitt, and uh, just you can kind of rub it on the base of that. It'll separate the dirt, let it fall, to do the bottom and then it's not constantly contaminating the water, at least as much. Now, as we're talking about wash buckets and things like that, I did want to bring up that they do have a wash mitt 
Um, I just, I hadn't talked about this in the past because I don't like it that much personally. It is two-sided, which is cool. So you have a basic microfiber on one side and then you have uh, kind of the scrub sponge side for like removing uh, bugs and things like that. So that's cool. But um, I don't know, just the quality of the microfiber doesn't give me a ton of confidence. It just feels, I don't know, not the best. So it is nice, it is a mitt, so you can put your hand in it, or like I always do, I usually just tuck in the cuff, and I like to use it as a wash pad versus putting my hand in. But uh, they do have these available. Again, definitely not my favorite. I would personally just use the microfiber towels, a nice plush microfiber towel, like I said. Um, but they do have them available. Now next up, they have the Deluxe. This is labeled as their Deluxe Wheel and Grill brush. Um, but basically it's just a softer surface. Now you can use this on a few different things. I personally recommend uh, you, you can use it on the surface of the face of your wheel to get all that stuff agitated and rinsed off. Uh, it's not super, super soft. Uh, it, I mean, it's fine, but if you have a delicate surface like black wheels or, or something like that, I wouldn't use this one. I'd go with a different one. I have ones that I saw on my site that are softer. I'll link those down in the description for you guys. Um, also link some uh, on Amazon so you can look at those as well. It's just, again, a little bit more of a premium version of this. This is okay. It'll get the job done. You can also, you know, use it to get in your wheel wells and all that kind of stuff. So uh, decent brush, um, but not my favorite. But again, if you're in a pinch, Harbor Freight has them. Now this item they have had, but they also released their actual foam cannon, uh, I guess about a year ago that I covered. I did a whole video on that. I'll link up here for you guys. Foam cannon was decent, especially if you switch out the orifice in it to a 1.1, you'll get more foam production. It's decent, $30 and then plus like a $10 mod or whatever else to, to get that smaller orifice. So you're in for 40 bucks. I personally still absolutely recommend just going with an MJJC foam cannon pro. Uh, or you can get the new SV3, that one's a little bit more, but those things just are fantastic foam cannons. They get a ton of foam. They have a fully 360 degree uh, adjustable spray pattern. Those are great. That's my definite recommendation. Um, but I wanted to bring this to your attention as well at Harbor Freight, if you don't have a pressure washer, this is a good option for you. This is just the type that you can attach to your standard garden hose. It's not gonna give the same amount of foam at all, not even close really guys, but it will get soap onto the panel so that you're not you know, you, you still want to use your wash bucket, but this will also get soap on the panel. So it really helps keep everything saturated so you're not, you know, wiping on a, on a panel that's drying down. Spray this on there, use your wash bucket, you'll be good to go. Also guys, I have no uh, use for this. So if you do have a use for it, comment down below uh, and I'll choose someone to send this out to for free. I, I, I have no use, but if it helps you guys out, I'm happy to do it. Now the next item is gonna be mostly for your interiors. You could definitely use on exteriors as well, but this is a super absorbent, low lint cotton swab with sturdy birch handles. Uh, cotton swab assortment. This is awesome. You can get into all the little fine details in your standard console, your vents, all that kind of good stuff. Same thing on the exterior. You could use it around emblems. Just be careful. You don't want to get that stick to poke through and then you could potentially cause some damage. But really, really cool little pack. Uh, Max Shine offers a similar like detailing swab. Nicer, much nicer. They, they have kind of a cotton swab and then like a polyester finish on some of them. Um, and they're a flat surface where all of these are round, but you do get a ton of different sizes. Um, and I think this pack was like $4.99 or something like that for let's 175 count. So very hard to beat the value there, guys. Um, I would definitely recommend picking these up, just having them. You never know when you're gonna need them. So check those out. And last but not least, we're talking towels. Guys, I did cover these in the past video, uh, especially this one. This one's currently on sale for, I saw it today, for like $3.99. It's usually $5.99 or $6.99, somewhere around there. But it is a six square foot uh, plush microfiber drying towel. For that price, these things are absolutely awesome. Uh, the plush towels work well. I personally prefer a twist loop drying towel. They're by far my favorite. I did a whole video comparing them. Uh, so again, I'll link that up here for you guys as well. But um, for the price, this thing is pretty, pretty awesome. It does state that it's 29 and three quarters by 29 and a half, so almost a square. Uh, I don't know what the GSM rating is of this, and I also don't know what the quality of content, what the blend is. Oh, here we go. It says right on here, it says 85% polyester, 15% polyamide. So 85, 15, not great. Usually 80, 20 on the drying towels. Sometimes you can go 70, 30. So 85, 15 is not great. But I've used these a lot and they're, I haven't had any issues. So these are, these are nice. Um, we will bust out the scale here and test the GSM of this thing in a minute. And one thing to note guys with the big drying towel is they do have these little pins in them. So you just wanna make sure those are removed. You don't wanna leave those in the towel or that definitely can scratch your car. So just make sure those are removed. And then also it does have a little tag on it. If I can find it, there you go. So just make sure to remove that as well. 
that came out quite nicely. So now along with that one, they also have this dual sided microfiber detailing towel. They say dual sided um, and it is, but both sides are basically the same. So, you know, whatever, uh, but very, very cool. This is something that I would probably use more on windows. Now it is a large surface, 24 and three quarters by 15 and three eighths. So it's large, but um, I do like this kind of tight, almost waffle weavy type of material for windows. So that could be a cool one as well. And now last but not least, they have the 12 pack of Grant's microfiber towels, 16 by 16 inch, which is my preferred size. So here it is, does have a surged edge and I can see through the light through it very, very easily. So I'm assuming it's pretty, pretty lightweight. Does have a little tag on it, which again, is not my favorite. I at least like it to have no tag, so I don't have to worry about that scratching the car. You always wanna remove it, but sometimes they don't remove that clean. Let's check. Ah, that one's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's still in the actual surged edge there, but overall it came out very nicely. My preferred is obviously to have an edgeless towel that I don't have to worry about that extra edge material scratching anything and definitely tagless. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and check the weight on this one as well. As far as the blend goes, I don't know if it says it on here. It doesn't say on the pack itself, but it does show made in China on the pack. And then on the tag, it does show 80, 20. So 80% polyester, 20% polyamide. Let's go ahead and wait and see what the GSM is. All right guys, so here's the scale. I have it measured out in grams. I'm folded up the towel as much as I could so that it's all on there. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the scale, rooting 412 grams, and that comes to 734 GSM. Yeah, 734 GSM. Fantastic towel. Again, 8515 is not a great blend. The absorption might not be as good and all that kind of stuff, but for the price, this thing's fantastic. Now moving on to the small 16 by 16 towels. Again, it's on grams, folded up. Place it on there, 42 grams, and that comes to 254 grams. You have to remember that this surged edge probably is adding some weight to it as well, but we'll just go ahead and call it 250 GSM. All right guys, now one more thing that I didn't cover and that's generators. They have a small, medium, and then full size, like a 3,500 watt inverter generator. They're quiet, kind of you know going after that Honda market. That's what I use. I use the 3500 in my personal detailing setups. They also have like a, a huge one, but that's not what we need. And then they also have a new one that they just released that's an open cage uh, style, still an inverter generator. The reason you want to go inverter is because it gives a clean sign power wave out. Um, I just, I, I prefer that significantly more than the others. But this thing's gonna be rated at 4,500 watts and comes in at 699 versus the other one that I use is 3,500 watts and retails for 899. So this may be a really, really cool option. Again, the one I have is 57 decibels, I think for noise. And this new one comes in at 64 decibels. So again, slightly louder, open frame that's gonna be a little bit louder than the one that's all enclosed. But for $200 less and more power output, it may be a good option for you. The only other thing that this one doesn't have is the push button start, which the one that I have does have, which I really like. I personally, I love that. Uh, this one's just a regular pull cord, but it's definitely worth looking at those two options for powering your mobile setups. All right, guys, so I actually wasn't able to upload the video to play right after this, but I'll put a link in it afterwards so you can click on that and check that one out. But thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.